Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to something that I almost never do, but I'm extremely excited for this, and I couldn't help myself. So, uh, we got new Rika support, which is actually insane. Uh, if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you'll know that like I've been playing this deck for a little bit, like off and on for a while, and uh, the deck's like extremely consistent, and we just needed like one or two more broken cards to like actually push this deck to like the meta game, and um, I think that Konami actually has done it. These two cards that they've revealed are actually like broken um so i'm gonna go over them with you guys and then uh give you guys like some ideas on what you can do and uh the one card combo now is like actually really broken so we can go over that later but uh, basically, uh, we have uh, Rika Snow Princess here, which is a level 4 monster, which is important because this makes Strena, um, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but yeah, Strena is like the one of the cards that you guys probably know what it does. Uh, it's like a level 4 and uh, rank 4, and if it's tribute, you can summon a plant, uh, like seize monster from your extra deck and attach it to his material. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, during the main phase, you can summon it from your hand, and then if you do, you cannot summon uh, monsters while you control this monster except for plants. So uh, it's uh, really annoying that it does lock you into plant monsters, but most of the Rikas, or at least um, a couple of them, do already lock you into plants anyways. So this isn't really like the biggest deal ever, especially because you can actually play this deck pure now, which is like really insane. Uh, you could play it before, but like it definitely wasn't nearly as good. Uh, then when your opponent activates a monster effect and you control a Rika monster, you can quick effect, shuffle this card from your hand or graveyard into the deck, and tribute a plant monster and negate the effect. That's all costs there, uh, which is actually pretty important to note. Um, uh, so it shuffles itself and tributes for cost. Uh, so it's actually really cool that this is actually just like a really cool like hand trap you can basically search uh, in order to um, like stop your opponent. So it's like really cool that now like we actually have a way to like counter Nibiru uh, just like in archetype. You can just like search this, which is actually insane, especially because you can activate the effect from the graveyard, uh, which is also pretty insane. Um, yeah, um, moving on into the other one, this one's like actually insane, Rika Arrival. Uh, we had a Rika card that was very similar to this, but this one also is a Rota, which is like broken. Um, so imagine Layer of Darkness plus Rota like combined into one card. So uh, if you control a Rika monster, you can set a Rika Spiller Trap directly from your deck to your spell and trap zone. And then also you can't summon from the rest of the turn except for plant monsters. Uh, so it also has the plant lock, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, once per turn, if you were to tribute a plant monster you control to activate a Rika's card effect, you can tribute a face-up monster your opponent controls instead of one of those monsters. So that's actually like the most broken part of the effect there, is that you can just tribute for cost your opponent's monster. So it's literally just like Layer of Darkness plus like a Rota, which is like insane. So uh, yeah, uh, this is going to release in uh, POTE, which is going to be Power of the Elements, which releases on uh, August 5th. So that's about like four months from now, uh, which is pretty, pretty, I don't know, it's a far ways away. It's, it's almost too far, but you know, um, I guess we can't really ask for everything. Uh, anyways, I want to show you guys like what you can do like a, as like a one card combo for this because like this is actually just like insane. Uh, so you can go like normal summon lone fire tribute and then you can add the our special uh, pedal. You can go Petals Effect, which lets you add any Rika monster and add it to your hand. You could also send it to Grave, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to add Mudan here, and then Mudan's Effect tributes a uh, plant monster to summon itself from the hand, and then when it's summoned by the effect of a plant, we can search a Rika Speller Trap, which means that we can search the Field Spell here. Normally, you would search the Glamour, but what's really cool is that the Arrival is now a stepping stone to get into that. So we can activate our Arrival Field Spell, and then if you control a Rika, we can set a Rika Speller Trap, so we can set the glamour from the deck um, and then since it's a normal spell we can just immediately activate it and use the effect to tribute a plant uh, and then we're going to be able to add any rika monster from our deck to the hand and since we tributed we can add two uh, so we're going to add Primula. Uh, and then we have to add one with the same level with a different name, uh, any plant monster. So we're going to add Snow Princess here. Um, and that would be two summons there. And then on the resolution, we get the effect of Primula since we uh, monster our control was tributed. You can special it from the hand of defense. And then we can use the effect of Snow Princess to summon ourselves from our own effect. And then we can overlay them into Strena. So this would be the fifth summon right here. So if you get in a beard, it's not a big deal because Strena does have a secondary effect that if it's uh, tributed while it has Xyz material, we can summon up. Uh, exceeds monster from our extra deck, so we can still end on a cheer drop either way, even, even if we get in a beard here, which is actually pretty insane. Uh, 
so we can use Stratus effect here, detaching material, uh, specifically the Snow Princess we have it in our graveyard. Uh, and then we can target any uh, like Rika or plant in our grave, which is actually our entire grave right now, and then add it to our hand. So we're going to go and add, add Lone Fire Blossom. But obviously, if you started with the petal, you can just add Mudan. Uh, so we have follow up for the next turn, which is actually pretty insane. Um, and that's it for the end board, which doesn't seem very menacingly like at first, uh, but you can go uh, Snow Princess effect to tribute the Strena. Uh, and then you can negate any monster effect, and then you can trigger Strena's effect to summon herself, and then you can summon a uh, teardrop on top of that as material, and then you have a basically a Dryden is what teardrop is. You can uh, detach a material and target a monster on the field and tribute it. Uh, so it's a little different than Dryden is, but it's basically the same thing. And we do have follow up in the form of Lone Fire Blossom, and we also have follow up in the form of Petal because on the end phase of our opponent's turn. Uh, Petal summons herself back if we control no monsters or only plant monsters. Uh, and then on the next turn, we can use Petal's effect to basically do the same thing all over again, uh, which is actually pretty insane. So that's like the basic like one card combo for like two interruptions plus follow up. So that's like insane. Um, and then if you wanted to do, it's like, it's kind of hard to like figure it out, like all of these combos, because like the, the combos past the two card combo or the one card combo are a little bit more extensive. Like you have to really like use a lot of brain power. Um, but it's like still pretty insane. I'll, I'll show you something that you can kind of do here. So, uh, we can go something like, like if you have pedal moved on, you can go like normal summon pedal, uh, pedals effect can grab you like snowdrop. Um, and then you can go effect moved on. Basically, do the same thing here uh, to like tribute and then search the field spell, uh, which I'll just like activate. Uh, and then it grabs or sets the glamour to your spell and trap zone. And then you can activate it, tribute, uh, go for the. Uh, it's basically the same thing. Uh, so we go like Permula, and then we add the Snow Princess on resolution. Permula triggers, and Snow Princess activates as well. Uh, and then we can go into Strena. And then we go Strena effect, detaching the princess to get back anything. We can grab Mudan here, since we don't have the Lone Fire. And then we can go Snowdrop's effect to summon herself, tributing both. And then we can go Strena's effect um, to uh, summon a plant, Xyz monster from Rasher deck. In this case, we're going to summon uh, Sacred Tree Beast Hyperton. Uh, then we're going to use Snowdrop's effect, targeting herself to make her level 8. And then we're going to chain, I think it chains, uh, yeah, it's a 1. Uh, so we're going to chain uh, to attach a monster from our graveyard to him. Uh, like this, so we have an extra negate on him. And then we can overlay these and go for a teardrop. Um, so in this case, you're going to have two forms of interruption, technically three if you count the Snow Princess, and the Snow Princess can also tribute a monster uh, for cost on your opponent's field to negate one of their monster effects, which is actually pretty funny. Uh, so that's like three, maybe four interruptions, depending on how you uh, form like all of your chains. So like two monster negates and a tribute, which is actually pretty insane off of just two cards. Uh, so that's actually like really cool. What's also really important to note is that uh, Sheet is like actually broken, and so is Tranquility. This might not see as much play, but like maybe as a one of, I don't know for sure. Uh, but Sheet's actually insane because it's basically Widow Anchor. Um, and while you have the field spell, it's like way more broken. So you can tribute a plant monster to take control of one of your opponent's monsters, and then neither player can activate its effects that turn, um, which is insane because you can also tribute one of your opponent's monsters and then take one of their other monsters. So this effectively removes two monsters on your opponent's field, um, and you're just going to take control of one of them. So that's like actually insane. So Sheets is like going to be the most broken like trap card in the game, like as soon as this card gets released. So uh, I'm extremely excited for all of this. Uh, this has gotten me like really thinking the last couple of hours. Uh, this has only been out for a couple of hours, so I, I probably missed something. There's probably something you can bet like do, um, but this is more of to give you guys like an idea rather than like an actual like combo guide uh, for this, which is actually like the point, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think that's about it for the video. Um, one thing I also want to mention is that, uh, so it says once return, if you were to tribute a plant monster you control uh, to activate a Rika cards effect. So I believe that you have to control a plant monster in order to actually get this effect. Um, 
I think I don't know it is also like continuous which is like insane because like it never like activates which is so good um, but what I mean by this is like for example you have to if your opponent controls a monster so I'll just give him like a token uh, move this over here okay I'll just get these out of the way so for example you can't like use Mudan's effect uh, to tribute a plant monster and like use the replacement effect of the field spell to distribute it while you control no monsters I think you have to control a plant monster already on the field um, I could be wrong about that but I'm pretty sure that's how it works um, because like you have to control like a plant monster like for example petal uh but you would still just be tributing this for cost i could be completely wrong on that um because like that would make the card even more broken if you could just tribute like for free like it would turn like the arrival plus mood on into like the most broken combo like in the deck uh because you would just skip the entire step where you uh use the pedal effect so i could be completely wrong on that sense if i am like please like say something in the comments uh in fact just like comment in the comment section below because like i will want to uh, discuss with you guys this because i'm really excited for this deck uh, anyways, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, if you have any more suggestions, like I said, just like please comment in the comment section below because I'm really excited for this. So uh, anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, I will see you guys hopefully later. Oh, also before the video ends, I want to say thanks for 1100 subscribers. We hit that like I think today or yesterday. I don't remember. Uh, but either way, thanks for that. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.